this is Ellie from Bussin's Parties and this is a video on dry ice experiments. So I've done one on making the dry ice smog or smoke in a cauldron and this experiment is about making smoke bubbles. So I've got my cylinder here, I've got some washing up liquid, I've got my dry ice that I get from cheesestick.com and I've got a plastic scoop and I've got my two pairs of blue gloves on that cheesesticks send you, doubled up. If you want to hear some bits on the safety information, watch the previous video. Um, when you buy your dry ice, make sure you read all the safety information properly. So this experiment is a really cool one to do. Again, so easy. All these experiments with the dry ice are really easy, um, but this one is hands-on for the kids. So, I've got my plastic cylinder and I filled it about halfway up with hot water, not boiling, just hot from the tap. And then I'm going to put a few pellets of dry ice inside. You don't need many. Just like that. And you can see it's smoking and bubbling away. I like to hold it up so the kids can see just how bubbly it gets. And if you've got a clear cylinder like this, it's just ideal for them to be able to see what's going on. So the dry ice is at the bottom and it's just creating all these bubbles filled with the smoke that's coming out of the top. Now, I always have my cylinder on a tray or something um, that's going to just withhold the bubbles because it gets quite um, overflowing, this one. Get your fairy liquid and then you literally just pop a bit of the washing up liquid in and voila! All the bubbles start erupting from the top. Now you can get the kids to come around for this one and they can actually scoop it onto their hands and squish it together like that so they can get nice and messy so you can get them to watch it because the bubbles will actually shrink as the dry ice seeps through the bubble so you can get them to watch it disappear um, but they do love coming up and squishing their hands together and getting all the smoke out and they can come up again and again, and you can add a bit more dry ice in, a bit more washing up liquid. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a really cool one. If you've got a big party, if you're doing this yourself and you've got quite a few kids, um, I would recommend having two of these at the table and getting two lines for them to come up, um, just so it doesn't take as long and they don't have to wait as long. Uh, but again, super simple, really easy experiment to do with dry ice.